Hey Magic fans, guess what came in early? It's like Christmas in November. That's right, it didn't come in on Monday, it came in early on Saturday, so we get to do our Ixalan box opening series, starting with draft. Hallelujah, brother. Not that there's not other stuff that we could have talked about, but let's be honest, we're here to crack packs because we have a problem. Call it addiction, call it what you will, call it a box topper, ya boy. Hey, that's actually not on there, all that. It almost like Velcro. That's funny. All right, so we got the box topper. We'll stick this over here, I guess. So, welcome to the channel. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. And we are going to start the draft box opening series. Uh, we'll do this uh, probably toward the end. Um, don't forget, comment, like, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Comments down below will help feed that YouTube algorithm. Uh, these are draft boosters, not a whole lot to go over. We kind of know what these are, right? So, we'll go into it while we start our spiel. Let's see, I believe these are from Japan, so they should be backwards. So we'll have the token, beautiful mountain. Very first card, a mythic. It's the ancient one. So that's pretty sweet. So and then we got our three uncommons. Four uncommons. Huh, four uncommons. Okay, that's just a little weird. Whatever. Four uncommons. And then all commons, I believe. Looks that way. All right. So let's dive in. Four uncommons, huh? One car rarity. Three to four uncommons. Right there. Nine to ten commons. When did they change that in a draft booster? Interesting. Interesting indeed. So, with all. I am so confused. Hidden Acropolis is in the front. Um, it's just a common cave, right? So, are the caves in the front? I guess I stick it over there. So scoot it all down because the cave might be in the front. That is so weird. All right, we got a rare. Four uncommons, all commons. All right. So I, this is uh, already an interesting video for where this. Okay, so the caves are all in the front. That is weird. All right. So there's our very first. Common self, uncommon foil, self-reflection. We got Amelia, not a bad rare. Only three uncommons. All right. Um, ten commons, one land card, a foil, borderless mythic planeswalker in less than planeswalker <laughs> in less than one percent. Traditional foil of any rarity replaces a common. Huh. Well, this is uh, different. That's a different kind of token, but okay. Token it is. All right, so K's are in the front. So I guess we can kind of scoot all this over like so. Heck, I don't know. So three uncommons. It's so hard to read these symbols on this one. All righty. So... As we start crack packing and looking for good stuff here in draft, let's not forget there's links in the description to the eBay store, TCG player. All these cards will be for sale on there. Um, so go, ooh, our first foil rare, and it's a get lost. That is probably one of the best hits as far as foil rares go. Intrepid Paleontologist, very nice. Okay. Uh, anyway, TCG player, eBay, all that good stuff is in the is linked in the description it helps support the channel um, there's also patreon in there if you want to go old school um, also my email if I reach out and say hey or if you just want to do it the cheap and easy way don't forget nice forest um, subscription is free free 
All right, so uncommon earth shaker full art. I uh, hope there's not common ones that are full art like that. That's going to be rough. I guess we'll wait and see. Hope not. Ooh, there's a map token. Haven't seen that yet. That's pretty cool. That's a nice looking token. Ooh, you got a swamp. Foil basking whatever. Roaming throne alternate. Or full art. Or ah, hell, I don't know. Julian Fries. I, so many versions of cards. It's just silly. But yeah, anyway, if you want to, hey, treasure map, want to support for free, just hit that like and subscribe button. Check us out on Rumble. We're over there as well. Once we get to a thousand people, we'll have a sweet little party and give away some prizes and other free thingamabobs of one stretch or imagination or another. So, yeah. It's going to be a good time. There's a foil hidden volcano. Sadistic Stalker. Not too bad. Not really sure what some of the best hits are just yet. Uh, I'll find that out once I actually go start cracking the old TCG page when I start putting the information together on how well these box openings are going. So stay tuned for that. And in the next video, I definitely will have a better idea of what is going on. So yeah. Now with that said, uh, we did talk in some of our other videos. Ooh, a foil conf consumium confluence. Not too bad. A molten collapse. It's probably an ugly picture in my opinion, but whatever. Still a great card. Probably one of the better rares in the set. I'm not gonna lie. Hopefully it's worth money. But anyway, so uh, we talked a lot. Um, of one of the videos that we did about problems, say hey, our first land cycle, um, about the problems that Wizards had with, um, well, first off, we'll start with the easy one, uh, the stuff not being ready. Uh, obviously, I got this, uh, but as you guys know, it's roughly about a week behind because normally all the product comes out, or they were trying to get it out and had it planned for it to come out during the release. Didn't happen with this product. It's almost a week or two later than that. What am I doing? It does not go there. Um, so yeah, a lot of people upset. Uh, just in general, not being able to get the product from their local game store um, on pre-release. Which obviously made it hard to give out prizes, along with lots of other stuff. And uh, many people a little testy, just in general. So, I mean, there's that. Which, at this stage in the market, it's kind of hard to believe that's what's going on when... You know, all this supply chain stuff should have been taken care of, you would think, by now. I mean, not, oh, our second Mythic. Wow, we got two finally. Um, you would think it'd be taken care of by now because it's only been, you know, God, two, three years after the whole vid lockdown that caused the giant, hey, another Mythic right off the bat. That's a good one. Uh, the whole uh, distribution debacle, basically. So... Um, the other thing people complained a lot about was the cards, how they were, that is, that is good looking, man is that good looking, um, the quality of the cards, so they were really gritty, um, and I seen it too at the pre-release, um, so a lot of people were, were upset of the quality of the cards, is that a, is that an uncommon, yeah, uncommon, not too bad, uh, so a lot of people were upset, who was saying when they, evangelist, uh, about card quality, and and I'm gonna tell you, uh, these do not feel gritty. I'll flip. Um, they look nice. They're cut nice. A um, little bit of edging issues from the cutting machine. Uh, I think they probably ought to look into sharpening their blades a little better, uh, or change the blades more often, or something. Because um, those edges are, it seems like they're always taking damage. Um, from the machine cut, not necessarily for people even opening the packs. It's just, yeah, you know. So, ooh, a throne of Grim, Grim Captain. Very nice. First uh, different looking volatile fault. Sorry, I got caught up looking at cards. So, uh, at least these from Japan feel good. Um, they have 
Uh, they don't have that gritty feel that they did um, during the pre-release. They feel more on par with regular quality of the card. So that's good. So that's been taken care of. So it shouldn't be a big issue there. Uh, as long as the rest of the boxes go that way. Ooh, those get lost. It's very nice. Um, we should be fine. It looks like everything's been... Now let's, let's knock on wood here and just... Eh, knock on wood. Get it. Anyway, let's just say the card quality is up to the par that we're used to um, on the good side. Um, I mean, I'm sure the foils might bend again, but... We'll have to wait and see. That's normally hasn't been a whole lot of a problem here lately, but the last thing I want to do is open my mouth. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Because you never know with these guys. Also, this will be the last time. Well, no, I think Markov Manor, right? Markov Manor has uh um, will have draft boosters, I believe. Or will it? Will Markov Manor have draft? I don't remember now. Yeah, I think Markov Man and I'll have draft boosters too. So we got only two more chances to crack draft boosters, and then after that, we're gonna go to uh, uh, play 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 boxes, whatever you want to call them. I mean, I always like playing with boxes, but that's just me. Uh, God, it's so hard to tell what the. I think that's a common. If I get it wrong, guys, then, I mean, it's whatever. It's just so hard to... The, the set is so small for the set symbol. It's hard to tell apart sometimes, especially when it's foiled. Common. That's definitely a common. And there's a decent rare, I guess. Rampaging. Not too bad art. All right. Five packs left. Only three Mythics, unless I missed one. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Like I said, the set symbols are real hard to see on here. So I may have missed a Mythic or two and not realized it. Um, so I'll have to check those later. But as of right now, it's looking like there's only three in the box. So we should be coming across quite a few more Mythics um, somewhere. Soon, hopefully. Or this could be a really bad draft box opening. Just putting that out there. What am I doing? Hey, there's another mythic. Blood letter. I don't think that's the best, but it is a mythic. What the? Captain Storm. <laughs> what a picture. Check it out all on that. Crazy, crazy talk. All right, two packs left. Four mythics. Um, decent amount of rares, obviously. Uh, got some decent foils, not going to lie. All right, last pack, and then we'll wrap up my, my final feelings and a little comparison on the set symbol. I'll kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. It's come, sometimes it's hard to see. Um, like, for example, if you look at these two, as far as set symbols go, you put them next to each other as close to the light as I can get them. Come on now. See, one on the left, we have an uncommon. On the right, we have a common. You can kind of see the silver. But if you compare them to this, you can see, lock the rest of that out, you can see the gold, right? But when you start getting into foils, like, that's silver, but because of the shine, sometimes it looks like it's not. So I would kind of like to see, as cool as the, the set symbol is, which is, get as close as I can here for you guys, block out the rest of it so it'll zoom in. Come on. You can see it's like a little eyeball or whatever, which is cool. But it's a little too intricate to be able to be read. Oh, wait, we got a box topper. I forgot about the box topper. All right, so four Mythics. Hopefully this is a real good hit. The other complaint people were complaining was opening these boxes. This was often a land. Many of the times. Okay, we got a Temple Bell. Not bad. Each player draws a card for three, huh? Not too shabby. We'll take it. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, be kind. I hope to see you across the game table. We got more box opening to do, and I got math. Love math. I don't love math, but whatever.